stakeholders from all around the world for the very first time. That we're fortunate and privileged to be working with. I think that's an important part of our strategy. We think there is tremendous opportunity. It's coming out fall 2009. We're uh, remaking the game and we're putting in on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. We take everything that was adorable and that got us most of the awards, like the storyline from the game. We're not touching it, we're not messing with the good things. And we're remaking all the rest of the things, like, for example, user interface, combat system. It's been redesigned from the scratch. Uh, new animations, uh, sounds been redesigned, and so on, so on, so on. We're not only shifting from mouse and keyboard to the game control. We have a lot of uh, new things that we thought about in putting in a in, in, in game like this for the, for the game control. You have contextual use of the buttons. You have quicker access to the menus, the user menus, and stuff like that, a lot of changes. It's exactly the reason why they play both PC and console games. These games are different. Some games even come out at both of these uh, platforms, or even three of these platforms, and still people want to try uh, all of these. And this is why we're redoing the game to have a different experience and keep the storyline, because this is what was most important about an RPG game. And we still think that uh, keeping the storyline will put the game to be an RPG on the consoles and we're trying to make an ultimate uh, console RPG because we're trying to redesign, as I said, things like the interface to have the feeling of fast-paced actions which console users are used to, but they will experience the story which is unique for The Witcher. <laughs>